Neil Gray's a uh, Brexit Party candidate here in Harlow. How's campaigning going? Yeah, it's going very, very well. We, you know, grassroots movement really, and we've got a lot of campaigners giving out uh, leaflets, knocking on doors, doing stalls. Been uh, a very good response generally in Harlow. But that's one of the things. You're not just a one-man band. You've got people out here who are going on the doors. Absolutely, yes. No, a lot of king people. I mean, a lot of people who haven't actually voted before, and they're actually standing up for Brexit, and they, they want to make a difference. Do uh, you feel there's the 29,000? I know this is not a Brexit election, and I'm not going to drift down that way. No, that's fair enough. But there are 29,602 people in Harlow who voted to leave, yes. do you feel you're the representative for those people? Well, I'm, I'm basically the only Leave candidate. I mean, all the others are Remainers. I mean, Boris Johnson's deal is, is not Brexit. It annexes Northern Ireland. We still uh, have to pay money, could be up to 65 billion um, to the EU. We're exposed to liability through the European Investment Bank. Uh, and that's without the political declaration, the direction of travel, which is dreadful so it is not brexit what they're offering so are you saying that you you are not for the breakup of the united kingdom uh, absolutely I, I i believe that boris johnson's treaty will actually result in a breakup of, of, of the united kingdom because it, as i say it annexes northern ireland with a customs and a vat border and it leaves northern ireland aligned in the customs and the single market now scotland voted to, to remain and they want to be aligned with the EU. They want the same thing and they're saying, well, you know, we want what Northern Ireland have got. So they're going to try and get a, a, another referendum in Scotland. And I think actually what happens with Boris's deal is it would exaggerate um, the, the process of breaking up the United Kingdom. Um, as we said, this is not a Brexit general election. Well, trying not to make yeah, try. a Brexit <laughs> but, um, there are many, many issues in Harlow. Oh, isn't absolutely. There? And have, 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 have you, people spoken to you about these well, issues? Yeah, no. I mean, policing is one of the main things, and obviously the the terminus house and the permitted development problems that have been caused. Uh, but policing, I think, is probably the main issue. And of course, the Tories have cut 20,000 police since they've been in government, and we have to be thankful for them giving us, you know, the 20,000 back that we already had. Um, so, do you as a, as a you are a politician. Uh, well, apparently, yes. At the moment. <laughs> Do you, I mean, somebody, I think in other interviews, people felt, quite, couldn't find see where your natural bedfellow were. You know, if you're not, I know you're a Brexit person. Yes. Do you have a natural I, 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 I'm a centrist, really. I, I, I struggled to vote for any of the major parties because they're too far left and too far right. And, you know, the political centre ground is where I am. So I feel if you're a lever, um, and, you know, centre politics is where I am. I think I can attract from the left, from the right, and from, from the centre. There are some people who think this whole Brexit thing is all some sort of economic scam. Right. To try and get a no deal and hoover up economically through whatever, whatever world, and probably the world of expertise that some people have in economics. What do you mm. say to that? In, in terms of hoovering up, what, the... That end up, people, people have met, will make... People will make big money in the markets through no deal. Uh, well, you could be either way. No one really knows. The fact that you think that the, the pound is going to go down doesn't necessarily mean it is going to go down. It could go up. You know, that, that's the nature of markets. Um, do you have a chance of winning? Yes, I think I have. Absolutely. I wouldn't be here if I didn't think we could win. You know, uh, you know a lot of people think that uh, the Brexit party will split the vote. Well. No, because we're the only party that have actually got to stand on a clean break Brexit. I wouldn't vote for Theresa May's deal. That's not Brexit. I wouldn't vote for uh, Boris Johnson's deal. That's not Brexit. I'd only ever vote for a clean break Brexit. Uh, and, and, and talking about splitting the vote, if you go back to 2017, um, UKIP lost about 6,000 votes. 4,000 went to Labour and just over 2,000 to the Tories. So, you know, a vote vote for us is actually a vote to stop Corbyn, unlike what the Conservatives are actually saying.